Hello everyone, once again it's me, Alilam Wantanomarin, and this is another episode of Verse Breakdown. The verse that I want to discuss today is Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, which reads, Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. What does this verse mean? First, let's start with light. Let your light so shine before men. What is this light, and why do we have it? Well, we have to know that all this light stuff comes from God, according to 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. Naturally, because he created the universe, according to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, and therefore all the light in the universe. This also means that his word, the things that he says, are also light. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalms chapter 119, verse 105. And of course, Jesus Christ is also light because he is that word. He is the word of God. John chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. And it was through him that everything was created, according to Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 17. So naturally, he's going to share in that light too. And therefore, we finally get to the spot of us in the chain. We believe in God through Jesus Christ, according to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 18. So therefore, we get to partake in this light. We get to have some of this light, according to John chapter 8, verse 12. However, we still aren't done with this verse because we still have to discuss the parts about glorifying God and letting our light shine. And also what that has to do with letting people see our works. Let's put it this way. Basically, in order for our light to shine, we need to show it. You can't have a lamp that is on, but it's under a basket. Matthew chapter 5, verse 15. No, it has to be out there. If we want to share our light, which is the word of God, then we need to spread the word of God. And of course, how do you do that? Preaching. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Those were the first words of Jesus' preaching, and his disciples continued this in Acts chapter 2, verse 4. However, preaching isn't about just taking a Bible and talking about it. You can also guide people in real-life scenarios. For example, and for Samuel chapter 25, verses 24 to 31, Abigail convinced David to not kill her husband. She didn't have Moses' words with her, but she was still able to use biblical reasoning to convince David out of what he was about to do. And as you can see, people will see our works when we decide to preach the gospel, they'll see, oh, these people are really faithful, and they'll see the word of God, and they may come to the faith. However, this isn't really glorifying God. What's really glorifying God are prophecies. They're everywhere in the Bible. And what God likes about prophecies is that they can never go out of style. They can never be proven wrong, according to Revelation chapter 22, for six, which means what they say must happen. If a wicked person says, oh, uh, this Psalms chapter 34, verse 21, I'm not going to die if I do evil. Well, guess what? The wicked person will eventually meet their doom, and then God will be like, well, that's what I said. I was right this whole time, thousands of years earlier. Where are you now? And on the other side, a wicked person who becomes righteous after hearing things like Matthew chapter 5, verse 5, and they come to the faith, then God is like, oh, he, he is getting life now. He is getting life in me. I was right. All these prophecies get fulfilled, and it makes God happy. It makes him pleased. I believe that is where I can stop in discussing the verse Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, which once again reads, Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video so others can enjoy the message that you just heard. Thank you for listening.